guys. Welcome to Late Night Vapes. Uh, my name is Rabbit. I want to do a little discussion about airflow, uh, especially for uh, sub-bombing and cloud chasing and stuff like that. Um, the most common question I see on Facebook and the groups and the forums is always talking about which bill can I do to get better cools. And a lot of times it's not the cool that you have an issue with, it's the airflow. And that's probably the first question I ask when I'm trying to help people out is um, uh, what's your airflow look like? Post a picture of your top cap. Everybody wants to post pictures of their, their builds and what they're building on. Oh, I've got a twisted quad parallel, whatever. You know, and it's not that. A lot of times it's the airflow. So when you get your, uh, especially when you start getting into this and um, you start learning about airflow and stuff like that, you probably get on and get you a um, an atomizer off of Fast Tech, you know, six bucks. You know, try it out. And they come and they literally have airflow. I don't know if you can see this. That little hole right there, that's the stock airflow. You're going to get some nasty taste, it's going to be burnt, it's not going to do anything. You you have to drill this out, and, I, and I'll give an example here. I've got a Stellar, and it's got adjustable airflow. Um, there's a slot there. You can adjust it to from wide open all the way down to you almost shut off. And your stock airflow is about right there. Um, take a drag over it and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. That's about the cloud you get right there. Nothing huge. Um, flavor's good on that, but you're not going to be cloud chasing. And, um, you know, as you open that up, uh, say to a, um, we'll go ahead and go all the way open here. This is full open on the Solaire. The draw gets better. Um, the vapor production gets better. And then you go all the way up to something like, um, this is my cloud chasing cap. Um, that is a three millimeter slot by five. And then these are one and a half millimeter um, hose on top. And what this does, this goes into the cool and this kind of spins the vapor around and creates a cooling effect. Um, I'll show you a cloud on this one. See the difference? Another issue you have is these drip tips. If you want to cloud chase and blow clouds, lose the drip tip. It's, I mean, look at this thing. It is completely restrictive, little tiny hole. If you're gonna cloud chase, lose the drip tip, go with a wide open bore like that. Um, I mean, you know, if I was to put that drip tip there, you could see how much, you know. It limits the production the flow and everything, you know, wide open. Much, much better. Um, so yeah, and you had to kind of play around with your builds if you're doing parallels and singles and quads. Um, you know, I've got this one drilled out uh, 16 holes at a slant on both sides, like that. I've got, <coughs> got everything here. I've got this one drilled out for quads. Two hoses go in front of each cool there. And those are three and a half mil hose. I mean, you can literally see through the atomizer there. Uh, very big hose. And, and, and again, no drip tip, you know. Now, on my Solaire, you know, just for puffing around, I'll close it halfway off. Um, that's a two mil hole there. And it's vape on it. Now it's mouth and lung hits, no issues. But yeah, if you're going to go with those big clouds and you want those, the big cloud chaser stuff is all about airflow. Uh, you can have the best build in the world, have bad airflow, and it's not going to do anything. Um, you know, this layer is like a, yeah, two a dual micro uh, 28 gauge. Um, you know, wide open, it does pretty good. How about unlock it? Not bad. I don't like doing that because I've got higher milligram juice from this because I close off that airflow and just kind of puff on it. That's how I like to vape the Solaire. Um, but now when I'm cloud chasing, you know, I've got my big one. And this has got a 24 gauge uh, parallel on there and it's going to dry on me. You 
you know. Um, it's just, it really is all about airflow. And I see so many questions about that. And people just don't realize that, um, you know, you, you have to have that airflow. The stock airflow is not sufficient for blowing clouds. It's just not made for that. I mean, um, this one is drilled out so much that you can still see the stock airflow there. And it don't really matter because of all the big holes on there. And um, this is usually what I run a, um, a parallel on. I've got uh, a Twisted 28 dual coil on here. So it's kind of low for the build. Um, yeah, this is 16 air, uh, air hose on there. Still is great. Um, but you see, I'll take, I'll take that nice deep breath unrestricted that's how you chase clouds that's the whole whole point um, I know you see the guys do the whole <laughs> it's a short intake but you're getting a lot of vapor production a lot of airflow um, you do lose some of the density but you get those huge clouds uh, this one I lose a lot of density with um, as compared to my um, my diamond cut uh, this one this is what I compete with, um, the density's there, the flavor's there, um, the cloud's there. Um, I'll post a picture of the uh, the winning, um, winning vape with this on here too, it's kind of neat. Um, but guys, that's about it. If you have any questions, email me, review at hotmail.com. Uh, check out the Facebook page, uh, Late Night Vapes. And as always, guys, have a great day. Vape on. See you guys later.